Greetings, 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 brothers and sisters, greetings. First and foremost, um, we must acknowledge our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who is only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, uh, for allowing this word to come out, man. And I hope you sincere, um, brothers and sisters, man, are truly, truly um, edified um, by today's word. Um, it's going to be a quick message, man. Uh, today is the Sabbath day. Uh, we will bring the Sabbath service later today. And um, what I want to do is speak about uh, giving warning um, to the lawbreakers of the word. Give, giving warning to the lawbreakers of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, when you look around Israel, man, um, you look at these, these um, us as people, especially the so-called blacks. Um, the Judites, okay, tribe of Judah, if we had to biblically uh, compare or identify such people. Um, you know, it's, it's really sad. Um, and, and, and a lot of this falls uh, in the hands of these uh, ministers of the word, preachers of the word. A lot of y'all so-called preachers, a lot of y'all so-called ministers, a lot of, of y'all so-called deacons. A lot of y'all so-called pastors are really, really um, not doing your job. Okay, um, it's 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 su such a neglectful thing um, when you when you see uh, these lost souls just out here running rampant, man. When you pick this Bible up. Okay, as a as a as a man of God, as a, as a servant of the Lord, once you start dealing with this book, and you take the position of being a pastor, a deacon, a minister of this word, you have a responsibility. You have a spiritual duty, and part of that duty is being a watchman, watching, observing, and looking at what's going on and then if you're fortunate to have a congregation aka uh, a, a group of people that follow you that's considered your congregation that's considered your audience and with that audience you have to it's your duty to identify the souls that's going <clears throat> opposite of the way they're supposed to be going you're supposed to look at your audience and identify if it's somebody deviating from the right from the righteous path and you pull them back in. And you can see out in Israel today, a lot of these uh, so-called pastors, whatever you want to call them, are dropping the ball. And it's not just on the pastors because the, the congregation, the law, the souls that's going <clears throat> down the road of wickedness, they have to also participate in changing, even when you point it out. So I'm not going to just solely leave it on you pastors. But I know a lot of you pastors are not. Um, just get on your job. I'm going to just say it to you that way. Um, but I don't want to make this a thing about pointing the finger. I want to make this a thing of being conscious and knowing when you're in a position of being a minister of the word, one of your duties is to give warning to those that's breaking the law of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Even if you got a congregation of a hundred people, if you give if, if you give that warning to those that are breaking the law, you'd be surprised, man. You might find one person that it really resonates to. And if that one person, you give him warning and he change his path and go to a path of righteousness as a minister of the word, you did your job. Now, without further ado, man, I just want to come out with one scripture that's Ezekiel um, chapter three, verse 18. And it reads, when I say unto the wicked, thou shall surely die. And thou give him not warning, nor speak 
to warn the wicked from his wicked ways, to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at thy hand. That's plain. That's simple and plain, man. What did it say? Again, in Ezekiel 3 and 18, when I, the Lord, who we know as Yahweh, say unto the wicked, thou shall surely die. Thou shall surely die. And thou, which will be myself, give him not the warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life. That same wicked man shall die in his wickedness. But the blood he will require at my hand. So that's why when you take the position of being a minister of the word, when you take the position of being a preacher, you're held accountable, man. Because again, when we look at Ezekiel 3 and 18, the first thing it says is, is, is we are to give warning to the lawbreakers of Yahweh who is only begotten to sell Yahweh shot. And that warning is um, to turn and repent from dying. Turn and repent from doing wickedness that leads to dying if you continue to move forward with the path you've been on already. So let me slow it down so y'all can truly understand Ezekiel 3 and 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. So in other words, when Yahweh said, hey amen, that individual over there that's doing wickedness, He's going to die. Okay. And thou give him not the warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked ways. So the Lord didn't put the warning out for me to reach over to that wicked person and say, hey, man, you need to turn it around. If I choose not to warn him, if I choose not to clue him in on the warning that the Lord have put out there. And I allow that person to continue to go down the path of wickedness. That individual is going to die. But his blood is going to be on my hands. Because I didn't issue out the warning that was issued from the Lord to that individual. So in essence, I'm held responsible for this person that's going down the wrong path. And as he continued to go down that wrong path, and he died, the Lord going to knock on my door and say, hey, remember I told you to warn so-and-so about his wickedness? I see you didn't even bother to warn him. So now you're going to pay for that. And I don't think nobody wants to deal with that, the repercussions of that. But a lot of these ministers today are not taking that stance. The preachers today are more focused on feeding their bellies and dressing themselves in the nicest clothes while your congregation is starving and naked, constantly getting their skirts lift up spiritually. It's a cold-blooded game, man. Again, the name of today's word is called giving warning to the lawbreakers to turn and repent. And I'm telling you, man, at the end of the day, our positions as men of the Lord, okay, is to lead our congregation, lead our, follow, lead our followers to convert from being right, convert from being wicked to being righteous. Yeah. The main job that we should be doing as ministers of the word is um, to convert all the lost souls to being obedient and ultimately leading them to eternal salvation. That's our main job. That's our main position. And I'm telling you, man, it's not happening. We're not giving warning to the wicked to turn to turn around. We're not telling people, hey man, 
you might want to stop going that way and go this way. Because if you go this way, ain't nothing but goodness going to happen for you. But if you continue to go that way, the Lord's going to kill you. That's just simple, man. Like I said, we got the Sabbath service coming up later today. Um, I just wanted to jump on here this morning, man, and um, just speak into a lot of these lost souls out here trying to find their own way when us as ministers of the Lord should be able to identify these people, especially those in your own congregation. We have over 300, we have 307 subscribers, I believe. So that would be 307 members in our church. And it's our job to be able to preach this word for those that could be headed down the wrong way and let them know, deviate from that. So I'm going to say this as I close out this word. For everybody that tuned in to this channel and, and watch this gospel, if you know you are not going in a way that leads to eternal salvation, today you need to turn. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn from your wicked lifestyle. And turn in the direction of righteousness. Turn into the way of being obedient. Turn into the direction that's going to lead you to eternal salvation. So I'm giving you the warning according to Ezekiel 3.18. Now, if you ignore that warning and you choose to go down the path you're going down, which is the path of wickedness and choosing not to repent, you, you will die according to the Lord. Ezekiel 3.18 But my blood would not be Required because I did what I was supposed to do I gave you the warning I spoke to you To chill out And go this way That's all I got for you But like I said For you pastors, for you deacons, for you ministers For all of you That deal with this Bible If you're not issuing out the warning the Lord has given to you in regards to someone he's about to kill due to their wickedness. If he give you the warning to let that person know, turn around or it's lights out and you choose not to warn that person. That person is not going to make it, but the Lord going to come see you about that because you could have helped him. You could have turned him around. And guiding them the right way. Opposed to having blind eyes, deaf ears, and let the wicked continue to go down the path of destruction. Because you're going to pay for that. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters were truly, truly edified by this word. And we give all praises, glory and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this word to come out. And hey, listen, man, the Sabbath service will be coming out later today. Um, we're going to do what we do, man, Lord willing. I hope y'all edified. I hope you hungry souls. It's fed, man. Shalom.